There's activity once again on the Carroll University campus after months of planning to try to safely reopen. The planning's over, and, and so now students have started to return. University President Cindy Nanninger says the decision to return entirely in person required building and classroom changes to allow for social distancing, creation of isolation areas if a student has to quarantine, and new safety measures across campus. And so we will all be wearing masks this fall. We will be wearing masks inside and certainly outside when we're in groups. It's going to be different. Um, I think obviously our social life is going to be a little bit different this year. The plan also required buy-in from the students. I am very excited, um, a little hesitant and paranoid, but I trust that my students and my um, classmates will keep safe. Every student will also have to have a COVID test 10 days before returning and will have to submit their negative test result before being allowed back on campus. First year students return on Monday, classes begin a week later, and with the university reopened, its next challenge may be staying open. What criteria will you follow to ensure that you can continue in-person learning? Yeah, it's a great question. At what point will we decide we're at the level that we need to go back to remote learning? And, and that could happen for us. There is not a magic number. Uh, for that. Uh, this will be something that we deal with in real time. In Waukesha, I'm Ken Wainscott, WISN 12 News. Carroll also reduced capacity at its dorms and is renting the entire Waukesha Baymont Inn Hotel to house some of its students.